Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. Guys, this is La Fin du Monde from Utebrew. Uh These guys are up in Canada, Quebec, Canada. Uh, guys, I reviewed this beer about seven years ago. Uh, and I thought it was awesome, outstanding. Of course, I was very young in my beer review days and the uh, first time I had something uh, from these guys. Uh, this is their quintessential uh, beer as far as I know and I, and I can tell. Uh, they distribute these beers all over the country and maybe even the world. I'm, I'm not sure what their production is. Uh, it's a very tasty uh, Belgian triple. It's a nine percenter. It's not a huge beer uh, but they brew it year round and uh, like I said uh, this was sent to me by Sterling so Sterling thanks a bunch again uh, we did one of his beers yesterday and this is the second one that he sent me uh, which wraps up what his beer my package was uh, big corked and caged bottle uh, and like I said when I did it seven years ago I thought it was outstanding of course since then I've had a lot of beers under the bridge uh, so I don't know if it's gonna quite get the grade that I gave it then uh, we shall see uh, I do like a uh, Belgian style triple and quads. Uh, they are very, very tasty. Some of them have more yeast qualities uh, from the Belgian yeast, the banana and the cloves and all that kind of stuff uh, in the beers than some others do. Uh, when I had this one, I thought it was pretty damn tasty. So, like I said, I'm not sure it's going to get the grade that I gave it then, but I'm going to be as honest as I can, and if it does, I'm going to tell you that, and if it doesn't, I'm going to tell you that too. So, uh, let's jump over to Untap to see if they have anything else to add to it, and they say on the commercial script, it says, the end of the world, the excellence of triple fermentation through a blend of special yeast gives this malt beverage an exquisitely robust flavor of exceptional refinement. And it says here they've been brewing it since February of 1994. So uh, they've been doing this a long time, guys. So uh, probably got it figured out, uh, especially since they're sending these all over the country. I think I bought the one that I did seven years ago. Uh, and this, like I said, was sent to me by Sterling. So thanks again, my friend, my brother. I do appreciate uh, the beer round package you sent. So let's get on with this one. Uh, I don't know if it's going to have a dating on it or not. We'll take a, a, a look at the label here real quick and see if I see anything that jumps out to me. And I do not. So uh, we'll take a closer look when I come back and see. Uh, it says bottle refermented ale. IBUs are 19. So we have uh, the ABV and the, uh, the IBUs. But uh, we'll see if it has any kind of vintage or, or, or dating on the bottom when I come back that would be my only fuss I, you know they use the same I'm, I recognize this label from the same label so they're probably using the same label year after year after year after year after year after year after year so uh, but to me it seems like if they want to use this one let's do this one on the back uh, with some kind of vintage or dating on it if you're not going to stamp it on the bottle somewhere which would be very hard to read if you're using black ink on a dark brown bottle with a fairly dark beer in it so that's all we need to talk about so let's stop talking let me get this cork and cage off the top of it and see uh, how easy or hard it's going to be to get this cork out of it Oh, it's coming out pretty good and hopefully it don't spew all over the place that would really chat my ass oh it's under pressure here we go big pop great big pop a lot of smoke out of it and there you're using a real cork 
in the top of the bottle. Some of those, so some like those others are using like a plastic cork. So into the glass we go with this one, guys. And we're going to go down the center unless it produces a monster head, which it is doing already. So we're not going to do that. We're going to ease this into the glass. Very carbonated. Probably should have realized that when I got that massive pop. So very gently we're going to try to get this into the glass without producing 10 fingers of head. So that's about all I can get in it right now. So I'll leave room for my big old nozzle to get down in there. Schnozzle. Uh, about a finger and a half of head on that pour. It's very cloudy guys. Looks like an unfiltered beer. It's a nice amber color. I can see a little bit of light through the thin part of the glass down here. This upper part is kind of cloudy. To the nose we go. <sighs> Big Belgian yeast notes on this. Getting the hints of the banana, the cloves, maybe a hint of some nutmeg, maybe a little lemon. Smells very, very nice. A very nice aroma on a Belgian quad. These guys have been doing this beer a long, long time, so they've probably got it figured out. I just wish they'd put some kind of vintage or something on it, guys. So we'll know, because uh, probably some of these bottles will sit on the shelf for quite a while. And on this style, it's really not going to hurt anything, but I would like to know that. Uh, that's just the way I am. That's just my OCD. Uh, Okay, in case you want to do two different years on a vertical or something and see uh, how one has salad a little bit longer than the others, if there's any changes or, or different notes or, or whatever. Smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, darling. Very tasty, very kind of bubbly, like champagne on the tongue. Very smooth for a 9%. Alcohol seems to be very well hidden. So they've been doing this since 1994, guys. So they basically perfected it. Very light on the tongue. Very smooth. Very nice beer, guys. It is a very, very nice beer. When you look up, if you used to look up in a dictionary of what a, uh, a Belgian triple should be, you ought to have a picture of this bottle on there. I mean, uh, that is a quintessential example of this style of beer. And back when I first did this seven years ago, there were a lot of breweries that weren't dating their stuff. I was kind of hoping when I got this one from Sterling that they had changed that and put some kind of vintage on it. And like I said, when we come back for the final chug, I'll look at the bottle once again, but I don't see anything on the label anywhere telling me what year vintage or whatever uh, date uh, on the bottle is. But we'll look, we'll look closer when I come back. But uh, tasty beer, guys. It is a very, very tasty beer. And the, the ratings are all over the chart on this beer. Some people like it, some people don't. I do find it very refreshing. I'm sure this is not a cheap bottle of beer to buy, especially since they're exporting it out of Canada into United States and other countries. Uh, you're going to pay a little bit more for this style of beer, especially being in this monster size with a cork in a cage. A uh, little extra process going on with uh, doing that kind of bottling. But it's right out of the fridge. Let's sip on it for a while and see what we end up with. All right, guys, I'm back. Got this a little left here. Uh, come back, look at the bottle. It does have a white stamp on it that I could not see with the beer in the bottle. It says best before eight. Best before eight, two of 21. So uh, then it's got a number underneath of it. Looks like it's H O two one eight nineteen. 080FL. I don't have any idea what that means. Uh, 
H02, maybe it's February 18th of 2019. That would be my guess looking at the number. So they're giving it, if, if we're judging that number by February 18th of 2019, pretty fresh beer. Uh, and they're giving it to 2802 20, uh, of 21. So uh, that's a very fresh bottle, if that's correct, guys. February 18th of 2019, today is the 7th of March. So it's not even a month in the bottle if that is correct. I'm just guessing. That's just what I'm looking at. The uh, the numbers on the on the bottle are uh, so uh, 2019, 2020, 21. They're giving it two and a half years of uh, shelf life, which is not bad for a nine percent Belgian triple. Uh, so. Uh, and looking at the glass, I've got a little more than a little bit, so let me take another sip here. Very nice Belgian qualities. The Belgian yeast is there, standing out. Hints of lemon, nutmeg, bananas. Very, very tasty beer, guys. It is a very nice beer, a very well-made beer. They've been doing it for a long, long time, and since they've been doing it since 94, 04, 14, they've been doing this beer close to 25 years. So they probably got it, got it figured out. I do appreciate them putting uh, the code and the date on the bottle. I could not see it with the beer in there, though. It's very light and very faint. Could not see it until I poured the beer out of the bottle. So, uh, but it ain't a dark black ink. It is a lighter colored white, but it is very faint. I could not see it with the beer in the bottle. So it's very hard to make that decision whether you want to buy it or not, but not being able to see that code. Uh, I wish they'd put it on the label somewhere where it'd be very easy to read. But like I said, they're probably using the same front label and the same rear label for these beers year after year after year after year after year. Uh, so at least they're making that attempt. So thumbs up to those guys for doing that. Uh, is the only problem I have is not being able to see it when the beer is in the bottle. But it is what it is, and it is a very tasty beer. So Sterling, once again, do appreciate it. A very tasty beer. Uh, if you like a Belgian triple, this is a excellent one to pick up. Final chug. Nice slicing, it's leaving on the glass. A lot of awesome tastes on this beer. I think last time I gave it a 10. It's not quite there yet, guys. It's close. I'm going to give it an A, 98 for me on this one. If I'm looking for something in the Belgian category, the quads seem to have a little bit more taste than the triples. Uh, but it all depends on what your palate is and what you'd like to drink. Don't let me influence that any at all. What I like you may hate and what I may hate you may love. Uh, so uh, it is a, an ex exemplary example of what a Belgian triple should taste like, guys. It is very, very tasty. A lot of Belgian qualities in this beer. And if you say, oh my God, you're crazy, it's a 10 beer, I would not argue that. I'm giving it a 98. Uh, so with that being said, if you've had this recently, the La Fin du Monde, uh, and I think I've read somewhere in La Fin du Monde, like means end of the world or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not French. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. Let's jump over to Beer Advocate. They have it at 4.32 in their outstanding range. I would agree with that. It is an outstanding beer. Not world class to me right now, but outstanding. Uh, definitely worth picking up if you like this style of beer. Over to Untapped, they have it at 3.97, which is kicking the door down from a B plus to be an A. I think it's a little better than that. That's why I've gave it what I've given it. I'm uh, almost 10 points above that. So uh, you have to like this style of beer. Uh, if you're expecting some kind of hot forward 
pop bomb. This is not it. That's not what this beer is supposed to be. I'm judging it for the style of beer and for what I'm tasting. So, uh, what I'm tasting is a very tasty beer, guys. It just doesn't quite get to 10 grade for me uh, because of, I can't see the code with the beer or the date, best by date or whatever, with the beer in the bottle. And it's not up to like a quad or anything. I could just as easily gave it a 10 again, a guy like I did seven years ago. I just don't think it's quite there. I'm a little more conservative on some of these beers uh, that I had earlier in my beer review days because uh, I've had beers that are a little tastier than this. Uh, but this is a great one to pick up and they've distributed all over the country and probably all over the world. So, uh, wouldn't argue with it, what anybody says if you say, oh my God, it's a 10 beer. Wouldn't argue with that. You say, oh my God, is you crazy? It's a C beer. Yeah, I would probably argue with that a little bit. It was very tasty beer. So starting once again, thank you, my brother. I do appreciate the two beers you sent me. Uh, guys, if you've had this recently, then the Fin Dumont, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge. Yeah.